Hi, welcome to another FSD beta version 9.1 video. This is the comparison slash benchmarking video against version 9. I'm driving the same route around the same time of the day and I'm going to highlight a couple of challenging points or areas that I um, encountered in version 9 and we'll see how version 9.1 is dealing with those. So let's go. This here is the first stop uh, crossing. So the issue here is on the right, there is a light, slightly sloped uh, road. And here the car actually this time does a good job. So it decides to go, it sees there's no one coming and it does that turn pretty confidently. So I would say that's at least on par with version nine, if not slightly better. Coming up to the next stop that uh, sometimes um, I have problems and let's see how the car is doing here on version 9.1. It's going to the stop line, that's pretty good, it's creeping and you can see the steering wheel moving and it kind of feels like the car is positioning itself to see better because to the left there is definitely some trees in the way to fully see and it's creeping slowly into the road and then it commits to go. So this is kind of hard to compare. I mean, in general, it's hard to compare these kind of things, right? Because no situation is ever going to be the same, like um, even in the same spot around the same time. But here, the creeping behavior, it feels like it's really trying to position itself to see. And by doing that, it creeps into the road too far. So overall, I would say same here. It's, you know, probably about the same like version 9. The creeping into the road is definitely something I'm gonna, I'm gonna highlight again to the AP team in my feedback. And um, I just feel like there needs to be a, a good balance between how much creeping can the car do, when is it confident enough, or also when is it not confident and needs to ask for help at this point in time. So that's gonna be a, an interesting thing to see in future versions. Now we're coming up to challenge number three on this route, which is picking the correct lane. And in the past run, the car picked the right lane and then immediately goes into the left lane. Now here, this time it's different and it picks the left lane, which is something I would have done, but now it starts to use the, or will start to use the blinker to try to go into the right lane while waiting at the intersection. So now as soon as the traffic starts moving, it wants to go to the right lane. And there's no reason for that. There's no reason to hold up traffic behind. So I intervene here and um, basically make it go in the left lane. Now it has to go, or actually a lot of cars here, go turn to the right lane because there is a car or a truck turning in front. Um, but I, that definitely was not the reason why it wanted to go into the right lane. It couldn't see that far out. So I, uh, the truck clears and I leave the car in the left lane. Now this is kind of funny if you think about it, right? It, in, in previous runs it picked the right lane and then turned left. Now it picked the left lane and then tried to turn right. So I wouldn't call this an improvement. Uh, it's just doing, you know, not an unsafe but an unnecessary thing 
just the other way around. So I count this as um, no improvement compared to version 9. Now, while we're waiting here at the red light, you can see my car doesn't have the turn signal on. It just turns it on now, as soon as the traffic light turns green. Now, whether that's coincidence or not, I'm not sure. Here, this is the next challenge. The car is also having troubles picking the right lane or had troubles in the past. And it's gonna have, just to take this away here, the same problem again. It turns into the left turn lane and then abruptly wants to go right. And I'm just not comfortable in letting it do it because there is a car just right next to me. So I'm taking over here. No improvement um, compared to version nine on this challenge number four here on this drive. coming up here to this yield and I guess my car sees the other cars coming and it actually waits for them. So uh, last time in the comparison drive on version 9 it didn't have to control for those cars because there were no cars coming from the left. So good to see here how it's handled. That was actually handled perfectly. Now we have to merge onto the ramp and it's gonna do a maneuver you will see in a moment where it's waiting for the car so that's all fine and it wants to go across two lanes um, and I'm not prepared for that so I didn't I, I checked for uh, the left lane my immediate left lane but I didn't check if it was okay to turn into the middle lane here so I took over it actually looking back um, on this video it would have been fine there was no car coming so technically you know I guess I just didn't uh, feel comfortable here with the car doing a two lane switch um, in addition to it not officially being legal, although no one really adheres to that. But, um, you know, I, I took over here just out of uh, an abundance of cautious. So we're now back on Navigate on Autopilot, <laughs> the boring part. I'm going to uh, fast forward this one again. Um, and there is one interaction which I'm going to comment on just in a moment. Just wanted to mention something here my car has to or wants to turn into the right lane to follow the the route and you can see here it went 70 it really naturally slows down to adjust to the speed of the truck in front of it and then does the lane change this has nothing to do with beta um, this is in the public version of uh, navigate on autopilot and it was just one of these maneuvers which are which are really getting better and better and we're gonna see Another one which wasn't that great, in just a bit, I'll fast forward to that one as well. Now here we have to move to the right to take the exit. There is a car on the right hand side of me. You can see it in red and it just feels like I'm stuck. So I, my car doesn't speed up, the other car doesn't slow down. So I'm taking over here um, and I actually hit the accelerator a little bit. So I see the other car still is just more or less next to me doesn't really care about my turn signal i guess that's human driving here so uh, i i press the accelerator here a little bit just to um, get me in front of the other car
here the signal turns green and you see that the SUV um, feels like it wants to cross in front of me but then stops so my car is slowing down it would have actually been faster here so it it w was seeing that car and slowing down so that was in my opinion also a very natural nice interaction next we're coming up to a spot where the car was slowing down for at least to me no apparent reason and uh, that was just next here so again I don't know why it would have slowed down in the past here you can see it slows down very slightly and then continues and here it actually slows down because this tunnel is kind of tight and um, but it, it makes it no problem so I don't know the only difference here this time was in the in the version 9 it was slowing down much more to the extent where I had to hit the accelerator the only difference here is this time there was a lead car so I don't know if that lead car gave it more confidence or if um, anything else has changed but that I would say is improved compared to previous version 9. Okay, and we're coming to almost the end of this drive. Uh, overall, how does version 9.1 compare to version 9 on this particular route? It's kind of hard to compare. It, there is too many different variables, but I tried to get as close as possible to my, my previous run. And based on just these 20 minutes, 8 miles or so, I don't see a huge change or difference, right? So the, the pain points from version 9, the, the challenging points, they still more or less are present. Overall, the car feels a little bit smoother, uh, but it, it, still, it still does make the mistakes that the previous version makes. So this is kind of in line with the release notes, I would say. These are minor improvements, probably mostly under the hood. Um, and particularly to my cases or my issues I'm having on this route, not really much has changed. So there was a recent tweet from Elon Musk saying that they plan to do releases every two weeks going forward and uh, I think I'll keep doing this route and see what gets better hopefully nothing gets worse certainly this was not the case here between version 9 and 9.1 so that's great to see and if you want to see the next comparison please consider subscribing comment if you have questions I'm happy to answer them and I'll see you next time thanks bye bye